everyone and today I'm here doing a book review. The book I'm going to be reviewing is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertelli. Now in the title of this video I have called it Love Simon which is of course the name of the film and I've only called it that because Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda is entirely too long of a title to write in my title for this YouTube video so that's why we're Love Simon. So I'm reviewing this book because it is the YA Circles book of the month for February which we are reading in celebration of the fact that the movie Love Simon comes out in March I believe. I actually have tickets to the Penguin Teen Showcase where we're going to be seeing an exclusive screening of the movie so I am so super excited. I'm actually seeing that one on Monday so I cannot wait. You guys have no idea how excited I am to see it. I think it's going to be an amazing film because this book is amazing and I absolutely love it. So give this book a 5 out of 5 stars when I read it and I'm actually currently rereading it for the YA Circle and honestly my rating has, like I'm only a little bit through but I'm telling you right now my rating has not changed. This book is incredible. The characters, the story, the complexity, everything about it is just so much fun so heartwarming and just like you get really invested in the story as well which is something that I think is really special this is going to be a spoiler free book review so if you haven't yet read Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda then don't worry you can watch this entire video without fear of being spoiled so this book is about a boy named Simon who is gay but has not been able to come out and tell his family and friends who he really is and that is something that is kind of weighing down on him so when he finds out that there is this other boy at his school who uses the code name of Blue he and Blue start emailing each other and they are kind of the only ones who really understand what the other person is going through. However, one of his emails to Blue falls into the wrong hands and Simon finds himself being blackmailed and the possibility of his story coming out but him not having the choice to decide when it does is sort of ripped away from him and then you kind of are on this whirlwind of a mystery of who is Blue and how is Simon going to figure out how to stop this blackmail from happening. All in all, such a good book. I don't think I'm explaining it very well but like seriously just go read it. So the writing style of this one is really kind of conversational and the you also get to see a lot of the emails between Blue and Simon. I think there's some IMs between them as well. So you get to see that. So you get to see them really from Simon's point of view and also like from Blue's point of view. So you don't really get to meet Blue until much further on in the novel, but you feel like you know who he is and you feel like you know him as a person and as a character because of these emails that he's been sending to Simon. And the emails are so cute, by the way. Like, oh my goodness, I, d I love them. The writing style meant that I was able to quickly fly through this book, which is definitely a good thing because I could not put it down. Like, I remember reading it and I was reading it really late and I think it got to maybe, mm, I don't know, 12.30 at night and I still said to myself, Jenna, you have an exam tomorrow morning, you need to put the book down, you need to go to sleep. So I put the book down and I just laid there and five minutes later I turned my light back on and grabbed it because I was like, I need to know who Blue is. I just, I need to know. <laughs> I think Becky Abatelli did a really good job of building Simon's world because she has given him such incredible friends and an amazing family and has also managed to really capture what it's like in a high school for teenagers. Obviously not everyone reading this story is going to be able to relate to Simon's story specifically but the way that it's written means that everyone can kind of relate to something in high school. I'm sure everyone had secrets in high school that they wanted to tell people but couldn't and this book is kind of showing us a way that that can happen. Each of the characters are so well fleshed out and are just so much fun including characters like Martin and Taylor. Taylor actually, I actually really like Taylor. She's like one of the most secondary characters and she really doesn't have a lot of screen time but I actually I quite like her. Characters like Simon and Leah and just all of Simon's friends and family are so well fleshed out and so well thought out and it just means that when you're reading it you really feel like you become part of their family and when characters can do that, when char characters can literally jump off the page, grab you and be like, yo, we best friends now. I think that means that the author's really done their job and that the characters are really well written. I felt like I knew each of the characters personally when I was reading this book which meant that I was even more invested in their stories and the diversity in this novel is insane and amazing and I love it so much. So the plot of this book is really quite simple. It's really just Simon learning to come to terms with who he is and learning to be okay with it and learning for others to be okay with it and that's kind of that, that's kind of the plot of the whole story and then we also get the added mystery of who is blue. We get the added suspense of this blackmail and not knowing if Simon's gonna sort of have this power taken away from him and it just oh, it makes you want to keep reading and it makes you not want to Stop. Even though I did guess who Blue was going to be, um, I didn't think it was like super obvious or anything, but I did guess. I didn't think that hindered anything for me. I don't mind a little bit of predictability in books so long as it's still done well. So although I guessed who Blue was, I then spent the entire rest of the novel just being like, alright, I need to know if I'm right. <laughs> I think that says more about me than it does about the book, honestly, but I needed to know if I was right and I was, so I'm pretty happy about that. So all in all, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars and I recommend it to 
literally everyone everywhere. Um, I can't believe that it took me so long to pick this one up. Personally, really glad that the YA Circle is doing this one as their book of the month because it gives me a chance and an excuse to reread it before I go and see the movie. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you have read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and what you thought. Also, let me know if you're planning on seeing the movie and what your hopes are because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.